dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here this day in the sight of God and the company assembled to witness the giving and receiving of the marriage vows. I'd like before we start to uh, have a word of prayer. And I ask each and every one here to not listen to me pray, but to bow your heads and pray and ask God to honor this marriage, bless this marriage, that it might last forever, as we all hope all of our marriages last. Dear precious Lord, we thank you today for allowing us to be here. We really thank you for this beautiful weather, Lord. We ask that you uh, bless this couple. We thank you for all that are assembled and brought here safely. Lord, we ask that you bless this marriage, make it whole, and make this love last forever. We ask this in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Marriage is an institution ordained of God it is not to be entered into lightly or in jest and only after much consideration. Do you, Trey, take this woman, Katie, to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and woe, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself solely unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. Do you, Katie, take this man, Trey, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and woe, for richer or poor, keeping yourself solely unto him for as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I do. I do. <laughs> if there be anyone present, we may show just and lawful cause why this couple may not be legally wed. Let him speak now or forever hold his peace. By authority vested in me by the state of Delaware, I pronounce you both husband and wife, and what God hath joined together, let no man nor woman put asunder. Now this is God. Long time. Here. Okay, guys. Guys, let me introduce Mr. and Mrs. Gordon Allen Ray the third. <laughs> A.K.A. Trey. <laughs> 